Hello everyone, this is Blender Copy. In this video, we're going to discuss Creative Flow's extra submenu where the fast circle array, edges to curve, solid inset, data transfer cut, and the texture mesh operators are located. They are in the extra submenus because even though they are not particularly connected to the overall theme of the add on, they are otherwise pretty useful in some situations. Let's start with the Fast Circle Array operator. The Fast Circle Array is used to duplicate faces in edit mode in a circular pattern. The faces that's going to be duplicated are the ones that are selected. Going to object mode and using the operator, you can select which pivot to use and how many duplicates are going to be in the circle array. The array will always have equal spacing between them depending on their number. If you want to change the array, Simply edit one of the duplicated sets of faces, select them, and use the operator again. Lastly, the operator does not automatically merge vertices, so you have to do that manually after the operation if the situation demands it. Now we have edges to curve. Edges to curve transform selected edges in edit mode into a curve type object added to the scene. Using the operator in object mode, you will mostly modify the depth, offset, and bevel offset properties of the redo panel to affect the resulting curve. The operator will also take the mirror modifier into consideration if the source object is using it. You can also clear the source or selected edges if you have only added them to an important asset to be used for the operator, or remove the source object itself. Lastly, the selected edges needs to be continuous because the resulting curves will not handle T intersections. Now we have the solid inset. The solid inset works on selected faces. The operator insets and solidifies them in the process with the middle inset face being removed. There's also a little procedure to keep some faces from being inserted. In edit mode, the faces you hide will be deleted the faces you have not selected will be kept but not inset, and the faces you have selected will be the ones inserted. This is a great and simple workflow to create objects like traces, for example. Now we go over to Data Transfer Cut. This operator uses boolean and data transform modifiers to make it seem like an object is part of another object by hiding the separation line using face normals copied from the source object as long as they share the same material. This requires two selections. The first selection will be the one cut and the second selection will be the one whose face normal will be copied from. This works great if you want to create additive details without ruining the topology of existing models. Just make sure to use simple shapes as the operator will have a harder time working on complicated ones. Finally, we have Texture Mesh. This is mainly used to create a grid topology for text objects so it will behave better when sticking to surfaces or using the shrink wrap modifier. This can also be used for other flat or planar objects other than texts. You can use the normal data active operator in the add-on to fix shading errors when wrapping it to low poly curved surfaces. And that is it for the extra submenu of the Creative Flow add-on. If you have any questions, be sure to use the comment sections below and the links in the description of the video. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.